Hey welcome back to Innovative Creator. Subscribe for more videos. Here's the text with corrected grammar. Prepare for an extraordinary cosmic event on the horizon. Betelgeuse, a colossal red giant star positioned at the edge of our galaxy, is emitting mysterious signals across the universe. Utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have made unsettling discoveries about this massive celestial body. Renowned astrophysicist Brian Cox issues a serious warning, raising the question, are we on the brink of witnessing a catastrophic supernova explosion that could permanently alter our night sky? Let's delve into the details. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where stars come to life, thrive, and eventually meet their end in a dazzling display, one star has recently captured the attention and concern of astronomers and the public alike. That star is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant of immense proportions and age prominently located in the Orion constellation. While its unique reddish hue and varying brightness have long fascinated observers, recent developments have intensified interest in this celestial giant. As we explore the nature of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves on the verge of a potentially monumental event in the star's life cycle. But what could these changes in Betelgeuse signify? Are we witnessing the prelude to an unimaginably grand cosmic spectacle? Betelgeuse, approximately 764 times larger than our Sun, stands as a stellar behemoth of colossal size, almost beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so immense that if it were to replace our Sun, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its stellar embrace. This remarkable size not only showcases Betelgeuse's physical attributes, but also highlights its stage in the stellar life cycle as a red supergiant. Betelgeuse is in the twilight of its existence, marked by expansion and cooling after a life spent fusing hydrogen into helium in its core. Despite being relatively young in human terms at around 8 to 85 million years old, Betelgeuse's current red supergiant phase is the result of millions of years of stellar evolution transforming from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. Betelgeuse's distinctive reddish hue stems from its cooler surface temperature compared to stars like our Sun. While the Sun's surface temperature is about 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's cooler surface registers temperatures around 3,500 Kelvin, emitting light at wavelengths that give it a red appearance. This color is not just visual but offers insights into the star's physical condition and the processes within its vast gaseous expanse. Adding to Betelgeuse mystique is its historical color change. Ancient Roman and Chinese writings suggest it was yellow about 2,000 years ago, with Arabic scholars first describing it as red in the 9th century. This color shift over human history provides valuable clues about the star's evolutionary path. The variable brightness of Betelgeuse is equally intriguing. As a semi-regular variable star, its light periodically waxes and wanes in a characteristic dance of luminosity following a 400-day cycle, and a longer cycle spanning about five years. These cycles have been documented since 1836 by Sir John Herschel and possibly even earlier in Aboriginal oral traditions. But what adds to the mystery of Betelgeuse is not just its changing brightness, but its irregularity. Unlike many stars that follow a predictable pattern, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from its rhythmic dimming and brightening, hinting at complex and less understood processes within its colossal form. In a recent groundbreaking revelation, Betelgeuse grabbed the attention of astronomers and stargazers worldwide with an unexpected and dramatic change in its appearance, now famously known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the Orion constellation, began to mysteriously dim. The star's dimming was so pronounced that it started losing its luminosity at an average rate of 0.1 magnitudes per day, reaching its lowest brightness in February 2020. Betelgeuse, normally visible to the naked eye even in light-polluted areas, became noticeably fainter, a change even amateur observers could detect. However, there's a challenge when trying to monitor Betelgeuse activities, the time paradox. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we're not seeing it as it exists in the present but as it was in the past due to the time it takes for light to travel to us. In Betelgeuse's case, approximately 725 light years away, the light we perceive today left the star nearly seven centuries ago. This time lag makes it difficult to predict and monitor sudden changes in a star's behavior, as we are essentially peering into its past. 
the Betelgeuse dimming event served as a reminder of the inherent difficulties in real-time astronomical observations, and the limitations of our understanding when dealing with vast cosmic scales and the time paradox they introduce. Andrea Dupree, Associate Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely monitored the unfolding celestial drama. Using the Hubble telescope, they analyzed the behemoth star as part of a three-year study to monitor variations in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. These observations provided unique insight into the dynamics of a variable star like Betelgeuse, which regularly expands and contracts, causing fluctuations in brightness. Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light allowed researchers to probe the layers above the star's surface, heated partly by the star's turbulent convection cells. Further analysis of the Hubble spectra taken at different points throughout 2019 and 2020 helped measure the movement of material in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere, specifically the spectra focused on magnesium Roman II lines indicative of the star's atmospheric conditions. These observations revealed material moving at speeds of about 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its outer atmosphere. This hot, dense material eventually extended millions of miles from Betelgeuse and was the precursor to the dust cloud that led to the star's dimming. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice the normal amount of material from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was lost over the three months of the outburst. This mass loss was significant, especially considering that Betelgeuse, like all stars, continuously loses mass, albeit at a rate far greater than that of our sun. The scale of this mass ejection, and the subsequent dimming spark discussions among astronomers about whether this event could be a precursor to a supernova explosion, the proximity of Betelgeuse, about 725 light-years from Earth, adds to the intrigue, as any such explosion would be visible from Earth and provide a rare opportunity to observe a supernova up close. Yet the question remains, what does this dimming event portend for Betelgeuse's future? Is it an indicator of an impending supernova or simply a unique episode in the star's long and complex life?